Hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is your one and only additional language. I welcome you to this channel. I quickly want to show you how to buy on Binance, how to buy any currency on Binance. So we are going to show you quickly <coughs> how to use uh, the P2P trading uh uh opportunity on binance to buy so quickly all you need to do is to click on uh p to p so you have this so you select the currency you want to buy from here so this one is usdt this is btc uh this is the bnb uh you, you can see <coughs> all of them <coughs> So, locate the the coin you want to buy. If it is Ethereum, this is Ethereum. So, um, all you need to do, let's say, you want to buy USDT, for example. Now, so you just scroll down. Sorry, just scroll down. Scroll down a bit. Then, uh, what you need to look for here is let's say for example you want to buy hundred dollar worth of uh, usdt hundred dollar so if you if you look at this place look at this one for example now this person only have look at crypto amount this person only have a uh, uh 26 usdt 26 usd that means you cannot patronize this one so you continue to scroll down so until you see somebody that up up to that okay this one have a 290 290 um, but the only condition for this one is you can only uh, buy a minimum of uh, USDT worth one sixty nine thousand. You can only buy minimum of one sixty nine thousand. So you need to consider that. Look at it. So if you multiply your hundred dollar by five eight five, this is the amount the person this person want to sell. Are you getting me now that you are buying from that person? This is the amount. So then you now look at it so if you multiply the hundred by this so your money is not <clears throat> up to 169,000 so that means you cannot buy from this person are you getting it now so you keep on looking for it okay let's look at this person i think we can patronize this person I, another clause there now is you need to look for the minimum and the highest look at it so if you multiply 585 by 20 also it's not up to uh it's not up to 86000 so you need to fall you need to make sure that you uh you meet up with the two condition limits so Let's say, for example, we click on buy on this person. Now, in this place, now, let's say we click on buy. This one. Eh? Let's say, now, you click on buy. So, uh, okay. Let's, the, the heart has been refreshed. So, we need to look for another one. Um, okay, let's look for this one okay now you want to buy you want to buy hundred dollar worth of crypto you can enter a month in naira here maybe you only want to buy fifty thousand worth of uh, crypto you can see now you cannot buy from this person because the maximum quantity this person can sell is only one thousand one hundred and uh 5 naira 47 combo so 
let's say you now click uh crypto you need 100 can you see maximum quantity so that means you cannot patronize this person let's say we click on all eh? so you cannot go for this person so what me i normally do to to ease uh my transaction is i normally do what you call filter i normally filter uh <clears throat> my search you know all what we are doing now is we are looking for search are you getting me now so so we are going to filter but before we go into the filter before i show you how to do the filter then when you are buying you need look, to look for another two things look for somebody that has that has more than 1000 trades look at it this person has 1496 trades eh? and somebody that has up to 95 and above or let's say 90 and above like this person that's look at this one now it's 100 percent but he he only has a 32 trades so far are you getting it <clears throat> are you getting it now so what me i normally do is to lessen my search and all those things so i come to filter look at filter click on this place just click on it so once you click on it how much do you want to buy so let's say you want to buy uh around around sixty thousand or one twenty thousand around it might not be exact oh, but just then select bank transfer that's what you want to use to do your transfer then click on this place also you know you enter the amount you know click on this place then click this place also just click then you now click yes you can see those four things that's what you do to do the the filter eh? so click this place click this place so it will bring all those amounts that falls within the range immediately of what you are searching for look at all these people now look at them see this one it has more than 1000 and it has a um 96 which is perfect look at this look at this look at this eh? you know they have if you if you scroll down also you see more eh? you see you can see oh this is three thousand this is 99 this is three thousand this is 97 hmm? this is six thousand this is 99 this that's what me i normally do so by the time you now filter like that now look for the one with uh the smallest amount as in the price look at price huh? this price i need this price huh? look for the one that then you now see that you now have one that falls within the range of what you want to buy 60,000 this it falls within this range now 25,000 is the minimum the highest is 156 uh it falls so all you need to do is just click on it like this quickly so maybe you only need 100 dollar so enter 100 okay this one says maximum is um 95 so if you click on let's say you type in naira 60000 uh this one says you can only buy 56 eh 56 800 okay 56189 you can see you can see all those 
figures that they are no more there. I, I, I believe you get what I'm saying. All these things has to disappear. This thing you are seeing. Eh? So that is, if if they are still there and the price you want to buy is still not uh, up to what uh, they allow, so you close it and look for another one. Just go back, then look for another one here. Eh? So let's look for this one. Let's look for another one. Okay, let's look for this one. This is another one. So you just need to get it right. So I want to buy 60,000. Perfect. Perfect. So this one will give you how much? It will give you, look at it, the uh, number of uh, USDT that you will get. 102.46. That's what 60,000 will give you. With 585.58 uh, as a unit price. So all you need to do is click on click on buy. Huh? Once you click on buy, me, I don't want to. You see? You click on buy. You click on buy. So once you click on buy, then uh, I want to go back. I want to go back. Oh. I have confirmed. I confirm that I have not paid. Yes, I have not paid. Oh, I normally don't. Uh, the platform, one of the things that they don't like is for somebody to, to, if you cancel more than three times in a day, like what I've just done now, I've canceled that, this order now. Look at it. You have one order that's in progress. Eh? So uh, that means I will leave it till it cancels itself. So then once you click on, let's say for example, all you need to do now is to click on make payment. If I click on make payment now, it will show me the account number of this person. Eh? And, and then another thing you can check is, before you click on make payment, eh, check the terms. Uh -huh, good. Look at this person now. It says no third party payment. Make sure that the name you use to register on Binance is what you are using in your bank account when you want to transfer. That's what they mean by uh, no third party payment. You can also use your name to register on Binance and now use your wife account to transfer to them they will not accept it so your bank account name must match with your finance username if you pay from a different account i won't release can you see i don't accept standard charter bank no need to ask if i'm online just proceed with payment i will confirm no please secure your bank account don't include any word relating to crypto usdt coin bitcoin or Binance when making payment. Do not mark paid if you have not made any payment. Note, when making payment from a company account, kindly provide a CAC document. Don't forget to give a pos positive feedback. Thanks. That is the times of this person. Some people may not, may not write up to this. So you need to check all these things. They are very important. So once you, and then you can chat with the person here. Uh, you see? You can chat and just like this now. I don't need to, I don't want to chat. If I click now and type, uh, you just click on send. It will go. Uh, and maybe as at the time you, as at the time you, you finish your uh, order, you have made payments and the person is here to you see the timer counting huh the timer is counting here that is expected of you to finish this trans transaction between you and the person that you are you are buying from you can see the timer is counting so if you want to call this person now 
you can click on this place. Look at it. Eh? This place. Just click this place. This icon here. It will bring out the phone number of that person. Look at it. See? Eh? You can see the phone number. So, just die from here. Once you die this place, the phone number will go to your to your phone. You can call the person directly. I, I have made payments uh, and the time is almost over what is expected. Or you have any question to ask the person. Maybe you are doing the chatting and it's not responding or something like that. So all these things are very necessary. And you need to, to know. So... Once you click on make payment here, you see the account number of the person and the bank. So just copy the account number only and go to and minimize this place and go to your app to go and do the transfer. Eh? Do the transfer. I mean immediately you 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 do the transfer, then you will now see another icon like this, which says I've made the transfer. Uh, click on it and wait for the person to release your fund. So you will see an alert. You will see an SMS alert. Then you will see it on, on the screen here that the money has been released. So once you make the payment, don't close this page. So just leave your phone for some few minutes for the person to release to release the uh, the money. Are you getting me now? So, so that is that is what you need to do. So once the person release the fund, you are good to go. So you can now transfer the money to your uh, to your uh, to your spot uh, to any uh, where you want to transfer it to. So if you have any question, you can also comment below this uh, video thank you for watching i uh, really appreciate you please kindly subscribe to this channel for more information like this thank you very much god bless you